also new at 5.30, a closer look at the political outsiders who want to be San Jose's next mayor. Good evening. I'm Sarah Donchi. And I'm Ryan Yamamoto. On June 7th, San Jose voters will have a chance to choose a new mayor for the first time in nearly a decade. This week, we began profiling a crowded field of candidates vying for the top job in that city, including Supervisor Cindy Chavez and three members of the San Jose City Council, Raul Perales, Dev Davis, and Matt Mahan. We posted all of their interviews on KPIX.com. So rounding out the field are two political novices who have never held elected office. They have widely different views on how to address one of San Jose's biggest issues. KPX 5's Devin Feely sat down with one San Jose state student, Marshall Woodmancy, and retired San Jose police officer, Jim Spence. There are two candidates in the race who are political newcomers. They have never held elected office before and frankly face some long odds in the election. But they say they jumped into the race because they felt that the other candidates weren't talking about some important issues or were talking about the right issues but in the wrong way. And they say they hope to influence the terms of the debate. Marshall Woodman's he chose this underpass for our interview because for a time recently he lived here homeless in a ramshackle RV while enrolled as a student at San Jose State University. As a student at San Jose State struggling to find housing in this community, I recognize the important need for access to basic rights like water, sanitation, food, community, addiction counseling. As a candidate for mayor, he views the issue of homelessness through the prism of his own experience, understands its raw urgency, and believes it's a problem within our power to solve. What I learned while living in this parking lot is that Things can change really quickly. Your safety can change really quickly. And there are so many frequency of, of, of violent attacks, of assaults, that it's so necessary that we have a volunteer patrolling this street every day. Jim Spence adamantly disagrees. The retired San Jose police officer believes our current approach to homelessness rewards questionable choices and bad behavior. So many of these homeless people, they want a handout. They think for some reason they deserve something. Spence's philosophy is deeply rooted in his decades as a beat cop. Most of those people that were in those camps and doing that, they wanted to be there. They did not want to obey the rules. They did not have the same ideas about cleanliness, about getting a job, about, about being part of society. Marshall and Jim will share the ballot, but have virtually no shared beliefs, no common ground on policy or politics. Each is using their respective campaign as a Trojan horse of sorts to inject ideas into the political discourse. For Marshall, it's the homeless crisis and climate change. I'm ready to be the next mayor of San Jose because I've been focusing, researching, and developing strategies on our climate crisis for now nearly a decade. Jim jumped into the race frustrated with our response to the pandemic with mass mandates and vaccine requirements. The politics of whether to mask or not mask or to get a shot or not shot, I think that's an individual decision. And, and as an American, I believe that's your choice. And you shouldn't be told by government. The ballots are in the mail and voters have between now and June 7th to decide which two candidates will face off in the November election. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.